All right, appendix A, part 227, the noise, exposure, compensation, the noise, dose over this component, composed and computed with the table A, is filed with the 1, sum level the L is the constant over the entire work day of the N, and the, and the noise of the double, nose dose is D, and percent with the given the, that by D is equal to 100, time, the 100 times C time divided by T, where C is the total length of the work, and the hour of the T is the duration period of the corresponding with the measure sum level L is given in the table A1. Two, working when the work doing it, nose the exposure composed with the two more period of the noise, the definite level of the total noise of the open of this work day is given. D is equal to 100 times um, our C, uh, uh, C, C and indicate the total nine, and the time of exposure for the exposure the specific noise of the T and indicate the duration permitted with the level to given in the table A1. Be the 8 hour t um, time weighted um, uh, um, TWA of the decibel with the computer with the dose and the percent with the mean with the formula TWA is equal to 16.61 logarithm of 10 d, divide, 10 d divided by 100 plus 90 and for each hour of the work day with the noise the level the consistent with the entire day with the TWA equal the measure of the sound level. See exposure and the impact of noise that should not exceed 140 decibels peak around the sound pressure. Any type of employee spent with the de dead, dead heading that should include the calculation of the noise dose the table the reading de dose of the TWA is given in section 2 of the appendix where L is measured by the eight way sound. Um, two conversion of the, between the dose of the hours time weighted and sound level the A, the compliance with the subpart B, two joints of the determinants, the amount of exposure noted that the work for play for the amount and such the exposure usually measured by the decimeter with a given them readout with the terms and dose. In order to measure um, better understand the requirements of regulation decimeter readings are converted with the eight hour time weight um, time weighted uh, average. In order to convert the reading of the dosimeter of the time weighted average to the table A two for the below the compliance with the dose meters are set with the manufacturer calculate the dose and exposure exposure according according to the relationship of the table A one for the Example of the dose of 91% over the eight hour results in a. Or this shows um, a weighted sound level of decibels from 100 to 144 duration time period from 2 to um, 0 0.78. And your table 1 shows the sound weighted sound level of the 80 to 99 with the duration limited. Um, I guess that went from the top. Time weighted average of the 89.3 decibel with the dose of 50% with the corresponding with the time weighted average of 85. The C with the dose of the read of the dose may be less than the greater of the value of the values found in the table A2, but the may be calculated with the usual form of the time weighted average 16.61 logarithm 10 and D, D divided by 100 plus 90 with the equal to where the TWA is 8 hours time weighted average sound level of the D is accumulated dose and percentage averages. This is dose per um, noise per exposure at 10 on um, your time weighted averages from. 10 to uh, 90, 91.6, or um, with uh, those percentage noise exposure and time weighted average. All right, table A2, um, conversion percent of the noise exposure dose of the 8 time weighted average of the sound level. This also continues the dose exposure level to 99.9 um, .9 for the time weighted average of 106. Or appendix B with the part 227 of the method of estimating the adequacy, hearing, protection, and protector actuation. The appendix of the mandatory employers may select one of the following three methods for the estimating the adequacy of the hearing protector actuation. One, debate the type of the, debate the, derate the type of the derating hearing protector actuation type of the following. One subpart, subtract seven decimals published for the noise reduction rate and rating with reduce the resulting amount of 20% for the earmuffs, 40% for form, form able earplugs, 26% for, um, for all other earplugs, subtract the remaining amount with the A weighted with the C t t t total one time weighted average have the you will have the estimated the way a weighted the time weighted average hearing protector of the two the method of the B with the, the ANSI S 12 6 the 1997 reaffirmed use the B method when found in the ANSI S 12 6 the 1997 method for the measurement with the rear air real air air real air actu actuation hearing protector of the director of the Federal Register approved of the incorporation of reference standards according to the title 5 use standard code 552 a with the title 1 TFR part 51 for many, uh, may I turn with the copy and the same for the American National Standard Institute, 1819 L Street with Washington, D.C., 236 with the ANSI.org. You may inspect the incorporated with the standard, uh, the Federal Road Administration, Docket Room 1200, New Jersey Avenue, Southeast, Washington, D.C., 20590 with the National Archive Records. For information available for the NARA, call 202-741-6030 with the go to the archives.gov, Federal Register of Federal Federal Relations, IBR locations. And third, the objective measurement, actual measurement of level of the noise exposure, a weighted, a weighted slow response dose inside the hearing protector where the employee wears the hearing protector in the actual work environment. Our appendix C with um, the part 227 automatic B baseline. Um, the appendix is mandatory beginning with the AF February 26, 2009. A general professional review of audiological and audiological and physician shall be with the um, procedure for the review limit revising the baseline autograms. 
Um, B, although the procedure be programmed the computer with identify with the room, um, records of the potential for revision, but the final decision revision to reach the rest and the human being able to cover the goal of the guidelines plus with the consistent among the different professional review of the human override of the guidelines but must be justified in specific, um, concrete reasons. The procedures do not apply with the identification standard for the threshold the, uh, other than the FRA standard threshold that the calculation of the 25 data to pull the average shift that are reportable to form the FRA form 618055A. Initially, the baseline latest auto Program auto, uh, obtained with the entry of the hearing conservation program in an unappro not appropriate pre entry with the autogram exists for the baseline with the first audiogram obtained with the after entry of the hearing the conservation program. Each of the subsequent autograms were reviewed with the detect improvement of the average, the average threshold of 2 to 3 to 4 kilohertz detection of the FRA as standard tra tra threshold standard. Um, Two ear for the examined separately and independently improvement over the worsening and on one ear must meets the criteria for the revision of the baseline. And the baseline is revived for the ear, line, ear only. That ear only. Therefore, the two ears showed a different with the hearing trend with the baseline with the left ear with the maybe with the test date with the baseline with the right ear may be different with the test date. E, e age correction does not apply with the consideration revision with the improvement of the rule one. The FRA allowed with the all age correction with the appendix of the FR part, part 227 two twenty seven two two twenty seven um, maybe you with the desire with the more cons before consideration revision with the persistent with the STS the rule two operates the same way without it, whether age corrections are used or not. Two rule one revision of persistent improvement. If the average threshold of 2, 3, 4 kilohertz over the either, or either ear shall be the improvement of the 5 decibels more of the baseline value with the improvement of the pre and present and one test for the present and next test, then the record shall be identified with the review of the audiologist, otinolaryngologist, physician, potential revision of the baseline, persistent with the improvement of the baseline with the ear of the should be revived with the test show lower and more sensitive value with the average threshold of 2, 3 to 4 kilohertz with the, unless the audiologist, otinolaryngologist, physician, and determine the documenta documents the specific reason for the not revising the value of the three frequency average identical to the, um, to the two tests. The earlier test becomes the um, revised baseline. Three, rule through two, revision of the persistent standard threshold shift. The average of the threshold of two, three, four kilohertz A of the year show the worsening of the ten decibels more than baseline value of the inner threshold shift um, persistent with the next period test for the next test given with at least six months later then the record shall be identified. Review of the audiologist, otinolaryngologist, physician, potential revision baseline persistent with the worsening and left the audiologist, otinolaryngologist, physician determines the document specific region for the not revision baseline for the ear. It should be revised for the test should the lower, more sensitive value of the, value of the average the threshold two three four kilohertz. The be, um, if both tests are on the same numerical value, average of two three four kilohertz, then the audiologist, otinolaryngologist, position should be revised. The baseline earlier two tests, unless the uh, later test that will show the better and the more sensitive threshold of the test frequency, the standard threshold shift retest for the 90 days periodic test may be substituted with the periodic test retest shall be better than the more sensitive result of the average in the threshold two three four kilohertz. If the retest is used with the play for the periodic test, the periodic test is retained with the record of the miracle within its way of the no longer considered with the baseline re revision evaluation retest within 90 days of the periodic test confirms the FRA standard shift, um, shift showing the periodic of the baseline will not um, be revised at a point below the required six months between the um, test for the standard, um, standard, sh standard sh uh, testing shift um, persistent with not measure, uh, be met. The pursuant of the six month requirement of the prevent and premature baseline revision of the SDS results temporary medical condition affecting hearing. Although the special retest for the six months given is desired and assess of the SDS percent of the most case for the next audiogram will be used to evaluate the persistence of the SDS. Or at Appendix D, the part Autometric Test Room. The Appendix N is mandatory. Room for the Autometric Testing shall not be racked around the sound pressure for the level exceeding the table D1 with the measure for the equipment confirming the lease for the tab 2 with the requirements of the ANSSY S14 1983 with the Class 2 requirements of the ANSSY S111 2004 specifically octave, octave band or fractional octave band analog digital filters. B. The Director of the Federal Register approved the incorporation reference to ANSI S1 1983 and S1 11 2004 accordance with the five unit, Title 5 U.S. Standard Code 552 and Title 1 TFR Part 51. Obtaining the copy incorporated the standard for the ANSSI 181911 Street, North Washington, D.C. 236 for the ANSI.org. You may inspect the copy of the standard for the FRA Railroad Administration Docket 1200 New Jersey Avenue, Washington, D.C. or National Archive Records uh, Administration for the information available the material um, NARA. Um, 202-741-6030 with a go-to the archive the archive.gov, the Federal, Federal Register, Code Federal Relations, IBR locations. 
Sammy D show the maximum allowable the active band sound pressure level the automatic test room. The sound pressure level of the super and aerial airphones 540, 1040, 2047, 45, 40, 4057, 8062. Sound level pressure insert earphones 50, 50, 50 550, 550, 1047, 2049, 4050, and 8056. Alright, Appendix E, Part 227, you can insert earphones without a mic testing. Appendix of the mandatory section 227.111 and allow the railroad to insert earphones without a mic testing. Railroads are not required to insert earphones. However, they are, where they are elected, you can insert earphones that must comply with the requirements of the appendix. One acceptable fit. The auto, auto, audio logic outlay and audio physical vision responsible for conducting the automatic testing shall identify the canal of the prevent achievement of the actual, actual acceptable fit with the insert earphones shall be assured that the technician under his or her authority conduct the automatic testing of the insert of the earphones automatic audible, ability to identify such ear canals technical technicians conduct with the automatic must be trained with the insert of the earphones correctly with the ear canal of the last subject of the recognize the condition of the ear canal besides present and prevents the achievement of the acceptable insert depth um, insert earphones shall not be used with the automatic testing employed with the earphone canal side for the preventing achievement of the acceptable insert depth fit. Two, proper use. The manufacturer guidelines are properly used for the insert that must be followed. Three, the automatic um, calibration autometers with insert out of earphones must be calibrated in accordance with the NSI S36 um, specification automometer that's directed to the Federal Register approved with the incorporation reference for the standard section in court. It's so whether you have Title V U.S. and Code 552A and Title I CFR Part 51 with the name of the copy of the incorporated the standard ANSI 18991L Street, Washington, North Washington, D.C. 200 ASI.org. You may inspect the copy of the incorporated standard of the FRA Railroad Administration, Docket Room 1200, New Jersey, Southeast Washington, D.C. 20590, National Archive Records, NARA. For the information available, the material of the NARA 202741630 with the Archives Federal Register Code, Code Federal Relations and IBR HTML. Um, audio meters insert the uh, um, earphones calibrated with the using the calculators listed in the table 7 the ASI S36 2004 automatic as a uh, uh, Acoustic calibration should be conducted annually. Functional calibration must be conducted before each of the days for the autometers. For background noise level, the testing should come out of the room in the room with the background noise, ambient noise level, active band, sound pressure of the, the appendix D of this part. Five, conversion of super, super aerial, aerial airphones. At the time of conversion, super aerial air insert airphones testing must be performed with both types of, um, types of earphones. The testing is subject to have the quiet period of less than, uh, least than 14 hours of the, of the hearing. The protectors may be used to substitute the quiet period. B. The super aerial earphones autogram should be compared with the baseline autogram. The value of the baseline autogram and the appropriate with the check of the standard threshold shift in accordance with the standard 227.109.5 F2 with the autogram shall show the SES retesting super aerial phones. Earphones must be performed within 90 days resulting autogram with the contents informing the standard, um, the, uh, standard threshold shift then adopted with the current test instead of the prior one in retesting super aerial airphones performed the retesting insert airphones performed at the time the established baseline future out of metric test using insert airphones all right, revised baseline autograms in the um, standard tre threshold shift that confirmed with the retest super aerial airphones um, autogram of the brief form revised baseline autogram the requirement of the statute 227109 at 1 for all the full future hearing testing with a super aerial airphone the insert aerial audiogram come with the new reference baseline audiogram with the future hearing testing performed the insert aerial earphones um, before the standard threshold shift not indicated with the test of super aerial earphones by the baseline um, audiograms remain in the reference to the baseline, over all the future super aerial earphones until the rest of the time the super standard threshold shift to observe in this case the insert of the earphone autogram take with the same time will become the new reference baseline autogram of the future for the hearing that has performed insert earphones. To um, see transi transitioning employed for the partial shift, the employers must account with the work of the and work who are in process of developing the standard threshold shift to demonstrate seven decibels average of the time of the conservation insert earphones do not have ten decibel average shift. The employers who want to insert earphones must enter a seven decibel shift information employees of autometric testing records, although it's not standard shift threshold, where the next annual autogram is used to insert the earphones. The average threshold is at 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 hertz at three decibels, completing the full shift at seven decibels plus three decibels. Employers must then label the average shift as standard threshold shift. Triggers following up the procedure with the statute 227109H. Our records. Um, although audiograms are both in proceed, proceed through the use of the insert, in air, insert uh, um, earphone super aerial calculations, proprietary tone in 
individual air threshold shift. The fill standard threshold shift and mitigation of automatic acoustical calibrations are to be preserved in records maintained in accordance with the statute 227.122.121c. Our appendix F to Part 227 is the calculation and application of the age correction algorithm. The depending for the amount mandatory to determine whether the sham threshold shift within the is occurring and allows made with the contribution age and the change of the hearing level, adjusting the most of the recent of the audiograms. The employer chief to adjust the audiogram with the employer shall follow the procedure described below with the procedure for the age correction table to develop the National Institution of Occupational Safety Health and Criteria that document the criteria for the recommendation, standard occupational exposure to noise, Department of Health and Human Services, and note publication number 98, 126, with each of the automatic testing of frequencies. One, determine the table of the F1 and F2 with the age correction value of the employer with the finding the age with whether or not the um, most recent audiogram was taken recording the corresponding value of the age correction 1000 hertz through 6000 hertz finding the age with the bench baseline audiogram was taken recording the corresponding value of the age correction 1000 hertz through 6000 hertz subtract the value of the found in steps 1B and um, IB, 1B, and 1 and value of the steps 1A. The difference of calculating steps 2 with the representative of the portion of the change in the hearing that may be due to the ancient example of the employee of a 32 year old male automatic history for his right ears is shown in the decibel below. Or show that the employee's age is from 26 to 31 and the automatic test frequency is from 1,000 to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 6,000. All right, audiogram at age 27 with the baseline show up the base, best hearing threshold with the asterisk that has been used to identify the baseline most recent audiogram. The threshold of the 20 decibels at 4,000 hertz for the audiogram takes the 20, 27, the 32 threshold, computed the subtracting hearing threshold at age 27, which was 5. From hearing of the threshold at age 22 to 32, it's 25. The retest audiogram conform the shift of the contribution. Age change of the hearing must be estimated in the following manner. Go to the table F1, finding the age correction value with the decibels at 400 hertz of the age 20, age 30, 27 to 32. All right, age 32 and 27 show the frequency of the 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 8,000, and the difference in correction. The difference represents the amount of the hearing loss attributed by the aging time period of the baseline autogram. Most recent autogram example, the difference of 4,000 hertz and 2 decibels. Um, and subtract with the hearing of the level of the 4,000 hertz for the most recent with the autogram of 25, yielding 22. With the adjusting the, the hearing threshold baseline of the 4,000 hertz, and subtract with the adjusted annual autogram hearing threshold of 4,000, thus the age correction, correct the threshold shift within 17 decibels, um, impose the threshold to shift 20 decibels without age correction. Alright, if F1 shows the age correction value of the decibels of males, years 20 from... 60 or older, at automatic testing frequencies 1,000 to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 6,000, and they increase go, um, the, a, as the years go older. Appendix a, F2 shows the age correction value of the decibels in females 20 through 60 years old, automatic frequencies 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 6,000. They increase about one every day um, uh, one, uh, as the age goes up. All right, appendix G of part 227, civil penalty, if application failure to meet the required condition of the foreign railroad, 25 to 5,000 willful noise monitoring um, program, failure to develop and implement noise monitoring program, 75 to 10,000, failure to use sample of required 2,500 to 5,000, integrate sound level to make noise measurement as required 25 to 5,000, repeat noise monitoring well and required 25 to 5,000, consider work environments where hearing protectors may be needed, 25 to 5,000, failure to provide opportunity to observe the work, Monitoring for 2,000, 4,000, preparing monitoring results, failure to notify the monitored employees, 25 to 5,000, failure to post the results as required, 25 to 5,000. Protection of the employees, failure to provide appropriate protection for the exposed employees, 75,000 to 10,000, failure to observe the document source for the noise exposure, 25,000 to 5,000, failure to protect the employee with impermissible continuous noise, 5,000 to 7,500, hearing conservation of the uh, minister of the ATP, 75,000 to 10,000, failure to compute the noise and exposure as required, 3,500 to 7,000. All right, and then more um, automatic testing failure of the um, um, automatic testing requirements for hearing protector, hearing protector actuation training programs, record key meetings that are willful and violations.